students, welcome to English class. I am teacher Arnold, always ready to learn and to give you learning. Today we will talk about propaganda techniques. So in this module, you are going to analyze the intention of words or expression used in propaganda techniques, then recall propaganda techniques. So, what is propaganda? Propaganda is a form of communication that aims to influence the attitude of a community towards some cause or position by presenting only one side of an argument. Propaganda is usually repeated and dispersed over various media to create the chosen result in audience attitudes. It is intended to make us accept or approve something without looking closely at the evidence. Advertisers use propaganda to persuade people to buy their products or services. Here are the seven most common propaganda techniques. We have testimonial, transfer, bandwagon, card stacking, glittering generalities, name calling or stereotyping, and last is repetition. So now let's talk about testimonial. This popular advertising technique uses when owned or celebrity figures to endorse product and services. When a famous person vouches for something, viewers are likely to consider the person's credibility and popularity. So example, things go better with Coke, according to Sharon Cuneta. That is testimonial. Things go better with Coke. It is a technique to project certain qualities. This can either be positive or negative of a person, ideology, or object to other things and people. Example, a major soft drinks brand was accused of having traces of pesticides a couple of years ago. While these allegations were on the rise, the entire carbonated drink industry took a hit. Fruit juices and other drinks were able to do great business. That is transfer. Then the third one is bandwagon. It is all about persuading the target audience to take action. It's about creating an urge amongst people to become part of the in crowd. To enforce such a feeling, advertisers typically use phrases like join the crowd or trending now for their products and services. Example, millions are using it, don't be left behind, we're night now. That is bandwagon. Then we also have the third one is the card stocking. It is manipulating information so that one product looks better than another. This often happens by leaving out important information. It gives the consumers the information they want to hear, even if the information is not based on facts. So for example, we, use, we commonly see this on the sanitizer, hand sanitizers, removes 99% of germs. It either be in the sanitizers or in your safeguards or soap. So, yeah, card stocking removes 99% of germs. That is card stocking. Then the next one is glittering generalities. It uses appealing words and images to sell the product. It tells us that if you buy the item, you will be using a wonderful product and it will change your life. It is used to enhance product appeal. Example, get the better detergent ever. That is for Ariel. So that is glaring generalist. Then we also have name calling or stereotyping. 
Name calling often occurs in politics and wartime scenarios. In advertising, it links a person or idea to a negative symbol. So, for example, in a campaign speech to a logging company, the congressman referred to his environmentally conscious opponent as a tree hugger. Yes, that is name calling or stereotyping. Then we also have the last one is repetition. Repetition, it is when the product name is repeated many times during an advertisement. This technique may use jingle, which is appealing and fits in the minds of the masses. Say, for example, Manila Times leading the way, Manila Times. That is repetition. So that ends our topic. Hope you've learned our discussion today. Thank you very much for tuning in with me. Once again, this is Teacher Arnold, where learning in English is limitless. Thank you and goodbye.